Hello guys and welcome to episode 6 of how to make a game like Valorant in Unity tutorial series. Now in the last episode, which was about two months ago, um, I said that we would be making Brimstone. Um, however, I think it's actually better to make Jet first because with Brimstone, we his abilities involve, first of all, having a map so that we can play smokes. Um, his utter ability also um, involves having um, uh, a Molotov cocktail, which involves a health bar. Um, so I think it might actually be easier for us to just use, uh, or sorry, make Jet first. So that is what we're going to be doing, because Jet's abilities are mostly movement based. Um, yeah, so um, with that said, let's get into it. Um, this will probably be a two part. In the first part, I'll just deal with all the movement based um, aspects of making jet and then the next part we'll probably make the smokes um as well as her ultimate um and yeah so with that said let's get started so the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to go into her scripts folder and we're going to create a new folder for different agents so we're just going to call this the agents folder oops let me just rename that agents and then we can go into this folder and let's create a new c-sharp script and we can call this jets who will be our first agent. So let's go into that script. And essentially it's pretty easy. Jet either has um, a left dash, a right dash, or basically she just dashes in whichever way um, she was last going. Um, and what we can do is basically, um, yeah, basically just detect what what our last uh, key movement was, either W, A, S, or D, and we just dash jet into or, or player model into that direction. So let's see first. So the first thing that we're gonna do is we're just going to um, on void update, we're gonna detect um, whether or not we are um, going to be dashing or whether we not. We, we are we are going to be controlling where we're dashing so how we're going to do that is we're just going to have um basically just a bunch of if functions um so first um actually let's see um there's a couple of ways we can do this we can either um i guess we can have like an integer here so we can have we, or an enum an enumerator but um Let's use an integer so we can have an int that says uh, dash direction and we can set that to be equal to zero which is default which would be forward um, and um, every time uh, we get an input such as dot get key down if we get an input like w or sorry key code dot w if we get an input like w or we get an input um, like uh, front arrow, up arrow, sorry. Then we're going to set dash direction to be equal to zero. Else if our input is, we can just copy this entire line. Um, else if our input is, uh, let's see. A or left arrow, um, then we're going to set dash direction to be equal to one, and then we can just copy this again. Else, if our key code dot A or is equal to S and down arrow, then we're going to set dash direction to be equal to two, and then we can copy this as well and then we do D now instead of S and right arrow then we'll set dash direction to be equal to 3 and that's pretty much it um, now jet has uh, two abilities and kind of like a special ability or three abilities um, but two because we're not gonna touch on the smoke um, either she can jump up she can jump left she can jump right dash or dash in the direction that she wants to dash or when she's falling she'll fall slower if she, you're holding the space bar so we're 
just gonna be making all three of those today um uh yeah so let's just make the dash first so the first thing we're gonna do with the dash is we're just gonna say if the player presses q so if input dot get key down key code dot e so if the player presses e which is the default button for her dash ability um we're going to uh, have a switch statement so sorry um, and we're going to switch between the dash direction so in the case that um, uh, dash direction is equal to one we're going to do something and then in the case that it's two we're going to do something else three and or sorry zero one two and three so here's zero here's one here's two and here's three. This is basically like an easier way of writing a if statement. There we go. So now we're at, so at case zero, we're just gonna be dashing forward. So we're just gonna do, we're gonna make a reference to the rigid body. So public rigid body, rigid. And we're just gonna say rigid dot add force. Um, and let me make a public integer for the dash force. Right, so after we've made the dash force variable, all we need to do is we need to add a force. So we're just going to do rigid dot add force, um, and we're going to add it in the direction of transform dot forward. So we're adding force forward, and we're going to multiply it by our dash force. Okay, cool. Um, now, if we go back into Unity, um, it should be so that if we press E now, um, our player will dash forward with the force of 10. So if we press play, we're pressing E. Um, it is not working. One second. Let's see. So I've input dot uh, key code dot key down. Um, let's try increasing the dash force to like a thousand. Um, press play. Still not working. Let me see. Um, let's add like a print statement here to debug. So we can just type print uh, dashed. Save that. And then let's go and press play. Um, the problem was that uh, basically when we were dashing, um, the rigid body first person controller script was. Um, basically setting velocity to zero because we're grounded and we're not having any movement. So the way to combat that, Hey guys, sorry, this part of my, uh, video, my audio is broken. So I'm just going to narrate everything. Um, and yeah, so essentially what we were doing is, um, uh, we are kind of making, um, uh, our player move up by like 0 0.5 or 0 0.3, um, meters. And this will allow us to not be grounded. And because we have air control on a rigid pod body um, controller, we can then dash around and jump up and down. Um, so right now I'm just going to be setting the transform position um, to be the original transform position plus like 0.3 meters. And this will, you as you can see, uh, you will see, this will allow us to dash around. Um, and hopefully you will be, if you were following along, you will be also dashing around. Um, yeah. So I think what I am doing now is I am um, setting a limit to how much you can dash. <clears throat> yeah, so I should be doing that. Yep, so I'm creating um, a public integer um, for the amount of dashes. And as you can see, we're setting it to be two. Um, and we're just going to create like an if statement here, um, that basically says, um, if we have enough dashes, um, then we are going to be, uh, dashing. Otherwise we are subtracting our, and what, if we do dash, we're just going to subtract it by one. So that is why we're doing dash amount minus equals one. And if dash amount is greater than zero, then we will, um, dash. So we will go back in game and see that in action, um, should be working. Yep. So you can see we have two dashes. I dash. Now we have zero, and I can't dash anymore. Cool. 
Um, so yeah, um, it works again. Um, no problems. Uh, so yeah, so now we're just going to copy that for every case so that when we dash, dash left, dash right, and dash backwards, um, it will all work. So we're just going to change instead of transform.forward for one, we're just going to make it transform.right, I believe, or left, negative transform.right. Because there's no transform.left, we have to do negative transform.right. So there we go. That's that. And then it would be S, which would mean negative transform.forward because there's no transform.backwards. And then transform.right. Perfect. Um, yeah. So now if we press play, I think I ran into an issue here. Um, like, uh, but it was just because I pressed W, um, so it was still set to dash direction zero. So I thought, it, um, all of it wasn't working, but it is in fact working. Um, just going to remove all the print statements. Um, yep, there we go. And now we're just going to go back into unity to make sure that everything actually works. Um, so if we pay close attention to the dash direction, um, you can see that um, if we do press uh, T3, so we should be dashing right, which is right. Dashing left. Yep, that's right. Um, and let me actually set this amount to be like 5 so we can test. Um, but if we... Yep, there we go. Um, yeah, so all the dash direction is correct. Um, now... In the future, we'll probably change this to be the di direction that the player is looking at instead of uh, mouse click. Um, but for now, we're just going to use mouse, um, the keyboard click, sorry, um, WASD. We'll use that as a direction for now. Um, basically, now pretty much all we need to do left is um, make sure that we can dash up. So the jet dash up is um, with Q. Um, so if we do if input dot get key down key code dot q, uh, we're just gonna add a force upwards. So we can just do rigid dot add force transform dot up times uh updraft force force mode dot impulse and we can just create a new variable here for the updraft force. So we can just do public. I feel like we should actually make these floats, but um, force is equal to 100. So now we have the updraft force. Um, let's just add by 0.3 um, while we have our, um, so that we can actually add a force um, because otherwise uh, the rigid body first person controller script prevents it from being added. And then essentially what we can do now is we can just do uh, public int updraft amount. I'm pretty sure there's only one. I forgot, um, but you guys can set it to however much you want. I think I, I was, I'm pretty sure there's only one. Um, yeah. Um, so if updraft amount is greater than zero, then and only then can we perform this action. So cool, let's go back into Unity. Um, everything's correct. So now if we press play and press Q, you can see that we're updrafting up and we can dash forward while we updraft up. Um, and I forgot that we have to actually set this to updraft um, amount to be minus equal one after we use it. And then now um, what we can do is let me go back here. Um, if we are pressing um, space, um, we can actually uh, make the gravity velocity kind of lower because when jet falls um, and you're holding space, um, she kind of like doesn't fall as fast. Um, and the reason for that is because um, yeah, basically she just has like the ability to like fall slower to not take fall damage. Um, and how we can achieve that is, um, let me see here. Um, I'm pretty sure we can just change the speed of which um, jet is falling at. So if we can see here 
and um, if we can see in vo uh, void update that we are holding space. So if um, input dot get key space dot space and we're actually not grounded um, and the way we can see that we're not grounded is inside of our um, is grounded or rigid body scripts you can see here is grounded is not checked until we are on the ground um, so that is so we can basically just make a reference to our rigid body scripts so we can just say actually I'm pretty sure we need a namespace first um, so if we come here and then copy this namespace and paste it here we can call on our rigid body script so we can go public rigid body first person controller rigid R, uh, rb and then we can just say if rb not rb dot is grounded so if it isn't grounded um if the player is not grounded then we're and we're pressing space, um, then what's going to happen is um, we're just going to fall slower. Right, so essentially if uh, our player is not grounded and we're holding space, um, so we're in midair and we're holding space, then what we can do is we can set rigid.velocity um, to be equal to rigid.velocity times 0.7 and that will allow us to fall slower. Um, if we go back in Unity, clear this out, um, and drag our rigid body controller in here, and then now when we press play, if we are holding space, we are falling super slow. And I think that might actually be a bit too slow, um, so let's actually multiply it by only point like 9f. Um, and now let's press play. Yep, so now you can see we are drifting slower down. And yeah. Um, so actually there's a problem now. Basically we're jumping um, and it's slowing down because we're technically not grounded. So how we can combat that is we can just type and um, uh, rigid dot velocity is dot y is uh, less than zero which means we're falling instead of going up and if that happens then we can slow down our descent so now you can see I'm slowing down my descent and I can jump perfectly fine but as soon as I'm falling I can go slower and yeah there we go. There is our jet, pretty much. Um, so yeah, now that we're finished jet, her two basic abilities as well as her special ability, um, in the next episode, we'll probably make her, um, a health bar for her as well as um, the ability UI and um, her alt and her first ability, which is her smoke, um, or C ability, sorry. So yeah, thanks for watching guys. I'll see you in the next episode. Bye.